Okay, let's have an example. A rock is dropped without an initial velocity from the top of a cliff. The sound is heard after 4.2 seconds. What is the height of the cliff? So let us identify what type of motion is this. This is drop. So that means it should be vertical. Tama? If that is vertical motion, then that would imply that it is about free fall motion. Okay? Because ang nag lang sa kanya is ang force due to gravity. So first um, is to draw our frame of reference or in other term, free body diagram. So since this is free fall motion and we know that free fall motion is vertical, so pwede na ating frame of reference, y-axis na lang. Yan, y-axis. Yes. So na daw tayo, cliff. So na tayo, cliff. So mag-drawing sa old cliff, ha? <laughs> so kailangan so mag-drawing, drawing. drawing. Dili man necessary. Ako lang na ipakita na, for example, cliff na. na cliff. Oh, ayan. Ah, diba? Perfect kaya kung cliff, no? <laughs> Nada mga cliff divers. So, nadari isa, cliff divers. Tadang! Taas sa kamot, eh. Ako na. Na po isa, re, mga cliff divers. Tadang! Ah. My third party. <laughs> Wala bitaw na. Ay, bata nga sa partner kay para happy, happy silang da. Ah. Yeah, oh, di ba? My fifth wheeler. <laughs> Nata isa ka fifth wheeler. Kids of my fifth wheeler. Dari, ano na. Siya, take picture. <laughs> Siya, take picture sa mga naikuan partner. Okay. So, nada tayo cliff divers. And then, kani nga mga cliff divers, they are, they want to know gaano ba kalalim yung bangin. Gaano kaya kalalim yung bangin, guys? So, ang ginawa nila, meron silang rock. So, nada tayo na. So, mag-drawing na po go-grap. Sige raw, drawing, drawing. So, nado ko yung rock. Ayan, rock. Ayan. So, this is the start of our motion. Okay? So, this is the point of origin in our frame of reference. Take note of that, ha? And take note, they dropped the rock. So, that means the initial velocity is zero. Kasi without initial velocity. So, that means at the very beginning of its motion, our initial velocity, initial velocity is... Zero meters per second. Do you follow? Okay, because it is dropped from rest without initial velocity. So that means kung gi drop nila, uh, mubaba agina, of course. Mubaba ang, mubaba ang rock until such time na it will reach the bottom of the cliff or the ground. Yeah, for example, naabot na siya dre. Okay? And then, pagdating niya sa ground, of course, pagdating sa ground, my sound na produce and the sound. Uh, they hear, heard the sound after how many seconds? After 4.2 seconds. So that means the time taken to reach the ground, the time taken to reach the ground is 4.2 seconds. Ayan. Okay. So ano, ano pa ba yung importante na concepts na nakalimutan natin? Meron pa ba? Oh, wala na. However, this is a free fall motion because it is vertically uh, downwards. So that means... We know that the acceleration is equivalent to the acceleration due to gravity, which is equivalent to negative 9.81 meters per second squared. So ano pa ba yung kailangan? Wala na. Wala nang uh, given sa ating problem. Now, let us going to identify which variable is required. Ano ba yung required natin sa problem na ito? What is the height of the cliff? And that height, is related to the displacement. Tama? Displacement man yung height. So, ibig sabihin, gano'n daw kalayo yung mula dito hanggang sa baba. Okay? Ayan. Ayan. Gano'n daw kalayo? Displacement. So, that is our, uh, that's, the, that's the visual representation of our problem. Okay? So, let us uh, identify which equation will be used for our problem, to solve the problem. So, ang hinahanap natin is the displacement. So, saan ba dito yung displacement? So, you, we cannot use this equation, ha? Kasi that we are um, in a free fall motion. Saan ba dito yung my displacement? Equation 3 and equation 4. So, let's check first equation 3. Do we have acceleration? Yes. That is acceleration due to gravity. Do we have VF? Wala. Wala tayong VF. Ay, sa... So that means we cannot use equation 3. Okay, kasi wala tayong VF. Bakit lahat ng problem sa ano no, sa physics hinahanap always VF. <laughs> uh, how about uh, equation 4? Can we use equation 4? Do we have initial velocity? Yes. 
Do we have time? Yes. Do we have acceleration? Yes. Do we have time? Yes. So that means we can use the fourth equation. And that is D is equal to VIT plus one half A, in this time, this free fall, so G, E squared. So take note of the given. Ang initial velocity natin is zero, okay? Zero yung initial velocity natin. If zero yung initial velocity natin, then that would mean that this term can be disregarded. So zero, ayan. So para mas madali na lang yung ating mga variables, okay? So let us substitute all the values. One half. What is G? G is negative 9.81. 0.81 meters per second squared. Time is 4.2 seconds. 4.2 seconds and then squared. So what is the answer for this um, part? Ano sagot nito? 9.81 negative times 4.2 squared divided by 2. This is 86. This is 86.5242. What is the unit? Cancel is second squared. So ang naiwan na lang is meters. Or this is, that is displacement. So it should be meters. And this is negative because it is negative here. Now take note how many significant figures ang kailangan natin. Ang significant figures na kailangan natin is dalawa because that is the least number of significant figures. So our final answer must be negative 87 meters. Ayan, negative 87 meters. Sir, meron bang height na negative? Yun ang question ngayon. Remember, that is displacement. What is the meaning of the negative sign there? Anong ibig sabihin ng negative sign na yan? The meaning of the negative sign here is it is below. So alam na mga cliff diver, ah, below pala. Lain po kayo, no? So, ah, it is 87 meters below. Ang uh, gaano pala siya ka, ano, is 87 meters below them. Okay? So that is the meaning. That's the implication of the negative sign.